Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the third installment of the series. This one is called Rush Hour 3. Of course, as always, I do have to talk about the plot of this film, so let's get into it, shall we? Mm -hmm. So yeah, in this film, folks, we get to see the LAPD detective, Carter, whom is directing traffic in this film, and yeah, we get to see him do his antics right in the beginning of the film right here, folks, and then we get to see this one character named Han, whom dresses the importance of fighting the triad at the ward criminal court announcing that he may know the whereabouts of Shai Xin, if I'm pronouncing his name right. He is this semi-mythical individual of great importance to the Chinese mob. So yeah, before announcing anything else, there's this an assassin shot that shoots Han in the shoulder, disrupting, pretty much interrupting the conference. However, the sheriff, investigator Lee, precedes the shooter and pretty much corners him, discovering that the assassin is his Japanese foster brother. When Lee hesitates to shoot him, he makes an escape. When Carter pretty much comes in and tries to intervene some sort of way. So yeah, that's the whole thing of his brother, or main character's brother. In here. There are two main characters have to deal with this fact that there's a brother involved, folks. And then the whole idea of them going to Paris. Yeah, I really get to see them going to Paris, folks. They have to do some detective work over there. And the, some stuff really goes crazy up over there, folks, in the film setting. But if you ask me, folks, this movie wasn't all that great, if you ask me. I didn't like this movie, folks, at all. I really didn't like it at all. Would I ever watch this movie again? No! Oh yeah, folks, I didn't care for this movie at all. I mean, it's not the worst movie I've seen, but it definitely suffers the third part curse. It pretty much just recycles the same thing all over again. I mean, sure, it takes place in a different area. Alrighty, yep, it's on my to-do list. Yep, more stuff to review on this damn to-do list, folks. Yes, sir. And honestly, I can say this is definitely the weakest out of our three movies. And I just, I actually liked Rush Hour One a lot more than this. I mean, not that Rush Hour One was all that great either, but still, a lot of the jokes fell flat. I felt that the action was way, trying way too hard. Nothing was funny, and just, I don't know, just came off stupid. Not stupid haha -ha funny, but just stupid. I feel a lot of the jokes were too common, they were forced, and I don't mind if it's a little over the top, I guess, but it just came off too over the top just for the sake of it. So, it's not exactly the worst film I ever made, it's not the worst third part of the, uh, ever. But he does suffer the third part curse in a lot of ways. Yep, another third part of a movie that suffers the third part curse, unfortunately. So I would say skip it. It's not that great. And it's not the worst thing ever. But it was so unfulfilling. It was so tired. It was so boring. Come on. But still, he pretty much just rehashes the entire thing. The same old jokes. The whole buddy cop thing. Yeah, we've pretty much seen the same old shit like we've seen before. It's the same old, same old. It's just a rehash. A total rehash. So, yeah, I call bullshit on this movie, folks. This movie is bullshit. It sure is, folks. Not the worst thing I've seen, but it does suffer the third part curse. They just did it for the money, folks. That's all it is. This film was just made quite simply for the money. So, yeah. If sequels are meant just to stroke the ego... This is pretty much the movie, folks. 
It Rush Hour Three is a one-trick m pony type of a movie that's been long ever since past. So yeah, folks, I didn't like this movie at all, really. So I just think is this movie comes off just like a a week old meal that you don't want to taste anymore. And I didn't like it really. I mean, granted, I was never a Jackie Chan fan anyway. I mean, I do like his movies. I watch them occasionally. But I was never a fan of his films anyway. I never cared for Chris Tucker movies either. I mean, he's not a bad actor, but still. I'm going to keep this review, review short, folks. There's not a whole lot I can say. I'll just keep this short. There's not much I can say about this film, folks. Other, other than the fact that he's pretty much just the same old shit. The same old shit. The same old shit. It's a total rehash of what was done before. And so yeah, I really didn't like this movie at all, really, folks. I don't hate it. It's just, it's just something I'm not going to watch again. It's a total letdown, if you ask me. So yeah, Rush Hour 3 gets an overall rating of a total score of a 5.0 out of 10. So yeah, folks, it gets a 5.0 of 10 for me as always thank you for watching and take care and if you don't mind folks i'm gonna have myself a bloody mary vodka oh yeah i definitely need this Ugh.